We wanted to come and um, show you our presidency, our advisor, and then also the class presidency. So this is Sister Lucila in the yellow, and this is Sister Salt in the green, and then to the back, our little filmographer, is Sister Wolfram, and she's our advisor. This is the Young Women um, Presidency. Thank you. And now I'm gonna ask our class presidency. And so I'm gonna start with the younger class. So Brenda, if you can raise your hand. This is Brenda Fonua. She's the president of the 12 and 13 year old class. Alice is her counselor. And Bridget is her counselor. And then her secretary is a Karen, that's Lydia. And then our older class, um, Joyce Iremia is our president. And Nina is our secretary. Um, Anna Moleni is one of the counselors. Finau is one of our other counselors in our class. So thank you, sisters. And um, part of my welcoming is just to kind of give you um, all the fun stuff we do in Young Women so that you can keep coming and get motivated to come to Young Women. So in the Young Women program, Heavenly Father invites us to all come into Christ and assist in his work by living the gospel of Jesus Christ, caring for those in need, inviting all to receive the gospel, uniting families for eternity. We meet every second Sunday and every fourth Sunday. We meet together as young women. But during the week, we meet every Tuesday. We usually have an activity. Um, some of them we meet together, some of them we combine with our young men. We do many activities in the young women, from service to spiritual to educational. And so we just want everybody to be hyped and excited. As a presidency, we can um, help them to come closer to the Savior and help them to recognize the Spirit. We are so just grateful that you were all able to take the time tonight and turn out here and we just welcome you all. But I just wanted to say thank you to the young women, thank you to my counselors, thank you to my advisor, and to all of the parents and the girls for making it out tonight. Um, and I say it's in Jesus Christ, amen. And, um, we will first hear about the purpose of young women from myself. Then we will hear from Final Tuwati on our young women's team. Following, we will hear from Anu Ramu on the young women's necklace. Then Wahi Tuno will share with us about the book. Tonight I will be talking about the purpose of the Young Women's Program and how it has brought me closer to our Heavenly Father in Jesus Christ. The purpose of the Young Women's Program is to help us make and keep sacred covenants and deepen our conversion with Jesus Christ and His Gospel. The Young Women's class, Classes help us work together to accomplish the work of salvation and exaltation. In our classes, we as Young Women serve, serve others, fulfill covenant responsibilities, feel dignity, and learn and live doctrine. Since I've been in young women's, since I've been in young women's, I have really became close to my heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ, especially in my, especially in my college. It has strengthened me in many ways and has taught me that I am never alone and I could get through anything in life if I just kept heavenly Father and Jesus Christ close to me. I feel I live like a, I feel I live a happy life and I feel so much at peace because I know I'm a daughter of God. Thank you all for joining us tonight. I express my love to all of you and I leave these things for you just Christ. Um, I will be talking about the purpose of the Young Women's Day. The Young Women's Day can help each young woman understand and divide identity, identity and become converted to Jesus Christ. The women and their leaders repeat the theme at the beginning of every meeting and our Young Women Gatherings. This is the theme right here. Um, each young woman will receive beautiful temple red <coughs> lace that embraces the Mamani and symbolizes our focus on the Lord. The work of salvation and exaltation, the image of the temple, is a reminder of our personal efforts to learn the gospel, which also leads us to the temple. It also reminds us the prophet's invitation to help gather Israel. Anytime we do anything that helps anyone take a step toward making commitments with God, you are helping to gather Israel. The necklace is bright and crystal and reminds us to speak light and share light. The Savior is like with others through kindness and sharing. We can help people come closer to Jesus. So, uh, 
You will also receive a copy of personal development youth guidebook. Your Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, know you and love you. You are an important part of their work, and you can make a great impact on the world. Heavenly Father has given you talents and spiritual gifts. You can seek revelation to know how to develop your talents, become more like Jesus Christ, and make yourself, other people, and even the world better. This personal development guidebook offers principles and tools you can use in your efforts to develop your gifts and follow Jesus Christ. <coughs> when hitting goals, you receive an outlet and a of the children. This guidebook has the word of God in it, and it won't give you a clear yes or no answer, but it will help guide you to make the right decisions in your life. Okay, um, now we're going to turn the time over to our class president, Brenda Puma, to introduce our new program. Afterwards, we will watch a short video of presentation. Hello, I am Brenda Fanula, and I am the president of the 12 and 13 year old girls. So, we have six new total girls that are coming up from, who have graduated from primary and is coming up to the young women, and we are so happy to have them. We are very happy to have you guys and we want to let you know how amazing and fun it is. The girls who aren't with us right now, though, are Imelda and Kova, but we are also very excited to have we are so grateful to have you all and we love you today. So thank you. Crazy. The first girl we're doing is Colette Dukwafu. Um, this is Colette Dukwafu. She was born on August 31st, 2011. She's a fourth child in her family. Her favorite food is lasagna and she enjoys playing football. Second girl we'll be introducing is Gloria Kukulaku. Um, her birthday is August 31st, 2011. She's the third child in her family. Her favorite food is pickles. Very nice food. And um, something she enjoys to do is play sports. Uh, the next girl is Trinity Dina. Uh, her birthday is 2009, September 20. She's the first born child, and her favorite food is chicken. And she likes to spin. And welcome to your home. <laughs> I would like to talk about Lilo Kinikini, my beautiful, awesome, incredible, talented niece, who I also consider one of my daughters. What Lilo brings to our family, what makes her special to our family, is she has this quiet confidence that you don't really find in a lot of young women. Um, what do I mean by that is, she reminds me of those wonderful stories that you hear about of queens and princesses, you know, a royalty. Uh, Lilo has that manner and that demeanor, and that's something that you don't find a lot here on earth. When you talk to her, she talks to you with this wonderful spirit of love, and she makes you feel like uh, you're the only thing that matters. And so I really appreciate Lilo, and that's what makes her special to our family. Queen Lilo. My daughter's name is Finao Tuafi, and uh, what makes her special to my family is she, uh, growing up, she was kind of a quiet kid. Uh, well, actually, not really quiet, but she was just kind of uh, not really sure of herself, you know. She didn't really have a whole lot of confidence. But uh, the thing that I really enjoy about her is uh, she actually has uh, 
really started to grow and blossom right before our eyes. She is my daughter that is brave and courageous in many different ways. And one of the ways that she's uh, brave and courageous is uh, she actually does things that um, are kind of out of her comfort zone. You know, she picked up a new sport that she's never played before. She wanted to try, um, she wanted to try out for a volleyball team that, uh, um, you know, she wasn't really sure if she'd make or not, but uh, she just threw caution into the wind and just went after it. And so she has a really awesome go-getter attitude and uh, which makes her extremely special to us. So uh, I thank her for her example of stepping out of her comfort zone and stepping out of the box and doing something new and her willingness to, to learn new things. And so for now, I love you very much. Camila is the oldest girl and she, <clears throat> you know, a couple of weeks after her dad died, sorry, I'm gonna cry, but I sat her down and talked to her about, you know, dad's not here to help us anymore. And so we all have to do our jobs. Um, and she really took that oldest girl role very seriously and has really been super helpful um, just with making sure that, you know, chores get done and she gets up on time for school and goes to school and she, um, you know, she helps out without complaining and notices things that need to be done and she'll just do them. Or if she doesn't notice and I ask her to do it, she usually like when, when I ask her to do too many things, then she'll be like, can I just throw a one minute fit? And I'll be like, yeah, go ahead. And she'll just like throw herself on the ground and like pretend like she's mad. And then she'll just get up and go do it. I just really appreciate that about her because it's really helped us out as a family to stay on track to have her take her role seriously. <clears throat> Um, Kalea is special in our family because she is very creative. She's very sensitive. And so if somebody's having a bad day, she's she'll go out of her way to check on them and to try to keep everybody safe. She's always been really interested in safety. And when she was really little, she made this book <laughs> of safety rules. So from a very young age, she's been just really concerned with making sure that everybody's okay and wants to make sure that everybody stays safe and happy and healthy. Hi, my name is Ella Mila. I am Bridget Veyongo Tuitavaki's grandmother. Um, something that's special about Bridget uh, Bridget is a very competitive young woman. She loves sports and she plays hard. And this is one thing that I've noticed about Bridget. When she sets her mind to do anything, there is no stopping her. She loves to um, play with her siblings, very outgoing. She loves to cook. She loves to learn new things in homemaking. She is very responsible. She's very mature for her age in stepping up and helping her mom taking care of the baby. She's very trustworthy that she is able to take care of her younger siblings. She's very different than any one of her siblings in that way. And that's what's really special about Bridget. Melanite may come across as a very hard person. Uh, sometimes she comes across as being mean, but she actually has a really soft and kind heart. She likes to stay home. She likes to help out her mom and she cleans. She takes initiative of being a a motherly uh, person in her family. She's always willing to go the extra mile in taking care of the kids, cleaning the house, uh, doing things like that. Um, she likes to play sports sometimes. 
She's not afraid to do things by herself. Uh, she's special to me as my granddaughter. She's very loving. She always checks up on me all the time to make sure that I am okay before she leaves and goes to school. So she has a very softy heart and that what's, you know, that's um, the things that makes Melenaite really special. Thank you. Fahi is special to us because she is our oldest child. She has a lot of responsibility and expectation of leading by example for her younger siblings. Unfortunately for her, she has inexperienced parents and we're grateful that she's patient with us as we learn. Uh, something that uh, makes us proud is she works hard. She gives a hundred percent effort in whatever it is we have her doing. Whether it's playing football with her cousins or learning softball. She's also worked hard in school. She's uh, gotten straight A's since the sixth grade. Hopefully it continues. Thank you. Brenda is so special to us because she loves like the Savior loves. She sees our needs and when we, when we need help, when we're down, she is just always helping and serving and loving in our home. And she, she helps me so much and I'm so grateful for her. She works hard at what she does when she wants to learn something new. She looks it up on YouTube and she just works at it, works at it until she figures it out. And we're just so proud of her and grateful for her. Hola, somos los papás de Alondra Delgado. Estamos muy contentos de grabar este video para ella. Sabemos que es un video que ella a lo mejor va a ver y queremos decirle que so, estamos orgullosos de ella y que le amamos y que deseamos lo mejor para ella en su juventud y en su futuro. Alondra, eres una hija muy especial para nosotros. Te amamos, te queremos mucho y deseamos que siempre sigas los principios del Evangelio y que te aferres a Dios y que siempre recuerdes que estamos para ti, hija y te queremos mucho y sabes que eres una hija muy especial para nosotros ok, bueno, pues grabamos este video para que Alondra lo vea y para que todos lo disfruten, gracias Hi, this is Anna's dad I am here to share something special about my daughter, Anna after three boys it was such a blessing to have her finally come to our family uh, and to top it off, I was able to name her after my mom, who had passed away uh, many years ago. But uh, I'm grateful to have her. I love her so much. She has a very strong spirit and slowly is getting to understand the gospel, and I'm so grateful for that. My only wish from now is that one day she can serve a mission and get married in the temple, and that would make her dad very happy. Thank you. Trini is my oldest granddaughter and she's so special to me. We share a birthday. She was born 20th of September, 2011. I was born 20th of September, 1967. I kind of raised her because she's my first love. I love her. Um, she loved to sing. That's her talent. She likes to sing. She loves school as well. And she loves to come to church as well. Uh, she was excited to be in the Young Woman program. And I'm very grateful that she is excited to come to Young Woman. She loves life and she loves to be here in church. We just hope that she one day that she'll get that to us. That's our goal. I'm Sefo. I'm here to speak on our eldest daughter, Joyce. Um, and, you know, some things that I really admire about our eldest is that she truly lets it be known that she's the oldest in the sense of she's very obedient. Um, there's not ever any feedback when we ask of anything from her. Like, we ask her to do things, so get up and go do it. She won't question it. She won't talk back or nothing and yeah that's a very great thing about her another great thing that I love about Joyce is her strength she struggles and keeps that in so that way she doesn't have to burden anybody else with it and that is a very amazing thing that not a lot of kids or teenagers can do youth can do at this time I think it's really cool on how strong she is 
One thing that I want, really want to say about Lena is that she's a very driven person. She's very spontaneous and stuff like that. So like any type of awkward moment, she'd either, she'd make it more awkward, but more fun, if that makes any sense. But I love her energy and she's a very positive person. Alice is, out of all of our kids, the most hard on herself. She does it to herself all the time, but at the same time, she does do her best to try and fix everything on her own. And I love that about her. And also what I love about her is like, she is literally the craziest wacky child that we have, after, except our son, but yep, that's Alice. The next time you see this video, she's gonna, you better post Yeah, anything. guess what, I'm gonna I kind of took me back to uh, when I was moving from primary to young women, and um, I remember my favorite thing to do, I always look forward to, was the mutual night. I want to speak tonight on the theme uh, of this year, and every year we have a theme, and this year is I Can Do All Things Through Christ, and the theme art is the current. Current in our own lives may be things that point us to Jesus Christ. Remember that with the Lord's help, you can do all things. And to the young women of Midvale 14, we are always here to support you. And parents, love and support your young women. Uh, make it easy for them to come to you when they need help and when they need support. Young women, President C from this ward, thank you so much for tonight. And uh, we're always grateful and thank you for all you do for young women on your board. I just want to leave with you my testimony that I know this church is true and I'm always grateful for my membership in this ward and what I have learned every day from this gospel. And I love you all and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to thank Mrs. Uh, Robbins for her wonderful remarks. I appreciate what she had to say to share with the young women. I also want to thank all the young women leaders who behind the scenes put so much effort and sacrifice and uh, to help uh, the, the young women in uh, being able to uh, fulfill uh, 
this first activity of the year. And to learn a little bit about some of the new young women who came into the Emerald program uh, to learn something about uh, uh, Camila Calera and, uh, and uh, also to learn a little bit something about Melanite um, and uh, the rest of those who are here. I'm also grateful to, uh, to have a lot of as part of our young women here. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see. I'm also a little sad to have a member of our young women uh, leaving us. And, uh, and we love you very much, and we're grateful for everything that you've done here, and your family here in the middle of the 14th board. What I wanted to just talk about is you know, the young women's thing, uh, but this has changed just a little bit over the years, which means to me that, you know, the Lord is very mindful. He's very mindful of you in your generation, the now, here, and the time that uh, you're here on earth. It's also cool to see that the first line has never changed. It's always been the same. And it says, I am a beloved daughter of heavenly parents. The one thing I wanted to just talk about was Sister Sherry Do. She said, President Gordon B. Hinckley stated that God planted within women something divine. That something is the gift of motherhood. Elder Matthew Colley taught that men have to have something given to them in mortality to make them saviors of men. But mothers, they are born with an inherent right and inherent authority to be the saviors of human souls and the regenerating force in the lives of God's children. And I thought, wow, that is so true. My young sisters, I just want to first let you guys know how much I love you all and how grateful um, that I am able to be a part of this and to witness your growth. Uh, Trinity, I'm very happy to see you here. Very glad that you came today. I am hoping that uh, as you each come to not only Mutual, but to church on Sundays, that uh, not only that you learn, uh, from the, the things that you'll be taught, but more importantly, that we can learn from you and your wonderful spirit. And I'm excited, uh, young women, to see what you accomplish in the future. And I share that with you, baby Jesus Christ. Amen.